My name is Antonio Centurion. I am one of the Bienestar de la Familia team members. My name is Khadija Fai. I am a senior case manager with Bienestar. My name is Emily. I'm a program technician with Multnomah County's SNAP Outreach Program at Bienestar de la Familia. Hi, my name is Juan Leon. I am the program coordinator for SNAP Outreach Program. My name is Zinia Zupan, and I'm the bilingual drug and alcohol counselor for Bienestar de la Familia. I'm Raquel Aguillon, senior case manager with Bienestar de la Familia. My name is Fernando Sanjirez. I'm a mental health consultant with Bienestar de la Familia. My name is Virginia Salinas, and I'm with Youth and Family Services. My name is Sotir Alvarez, and I'm a case manager senior. My name is Julio Maldonado. I am a senior case manager with uh, Bienestar de la Familia. I'm working with, with clients that are having uh, problems, uh, uh, emotional problems, financial problems, and, and also with clients that are vulnerable to, to, to new situations. And I work largely with the immigrant and refugee community, in particular the Somali. As a Spanish bilingual bicultural staff, I conduct intakes, assess needs, and work arduously to find resources and opportunities to individuals and families. What I knew for sure when the pandemic hit was that the Bienestar team, myself included, we knew that the community would be turning to us now more than ever, and we had to be ready. We had to make so many adjustments to adapt to this new concept of teleworking, at least for our program that we're used for years to provide direct client services. We are used to this on-site interactions with the clients. We apply so many tools as we discuss the, the client's needs, we apply uh, trauma-informed care tools. So there's a lot of things happening on site. And with the teleworking, is staff had to adjust to so many things. Uh, we had to uh, use and apply technology. We had to make some changes to their uh, daily schedules and productivity templates uh, to, um, to meet the need, the new need. Um, and then what's really interesting is the staff, they, they share that they feel like they're working, working a lot more at home than in the office uh, because the phone doesn't stop ringing. Uh, uh, there is uh, a huge demand for assistance because of the pandemic and COVID-19. Uh, people have lost their jobs. People are... Uh, don't have any income. People are really behind months on rental. So the, the staff feel is like it's non-staff. Hi, this is Khadija from Khadija, Maldoma County Youth and Family Service Division, Bienestar. Hi. nuevamente, lo que le quería preguntar es que es diferente esta semana a la semana pasada cuando hablamos. La semana pasada hablamos que la ansiedad, la depresión, Era un problema en su vida en ese momento, pero hablamos de ejercicios mentales que tenemos que hacer. Hello. Hello, hello. Este es Julio de nuevo. ¿Cómo está el día de hoy? Bien, ¿y usted? Muy bien. Solamente para confirmarle que ya envié el pago para lo de la renta, así que <coughs> me alegro que por el momento ya está asegurado. Good afternoon. Well, hello. Uh, this is Neville Zeglu with Multnomah County uh, Youth and Family Service and Bienestar de la Familia. How are you doing this afternoon? Hey, um, yeah. Uh, do you have a minute? I would like to discuss uh, food uh, distribution logistics for tomorrow. Great. Hola, buenas tardes. Habla Yvonne de Bienestar de la Familia con el Condado de Multnomah. Le estoy llamando porque uh, me había dejado un mensaje. Le estoy regresando su llamada. We try to adjust our program uh, to have a combination of teleworking and being open and available at the center. So we are open 8.30 to 5 Monday through Friday because we still have community members every day coming and knocking on the door requesting assistance. So, um, so we try to adjust. And uh, and meet the community needs. 
something interesting during this unique experience that we are having during this COVID is that I moved my office to my home. That is a, 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 an experience. Then talking to my clients, uh, listening many different needs people talking about unemployment, about lack of food, or exhausting their financial savings, really is moving. And that um, story really helped me to, or inspire me to do my work. It's to learn that we're all in this together as a community. It's something that, you know, as much as like, you know, it's it's really a terrible epidemic, but there is also a bit of a, a sides that, you know, you see the fights in communities that really try to survive. Remember that we're working with a really vulnerable um, population that uh, they have t too many issues. Among them, you know, the lack of money, you know, the lack of resources, and also the, the, the lack of support because many are immigrants that they don't have families, you know, or people need, and, and they're really, really going through a, a difficult time and really suffering. It's been about two and a half months since we started teleworking due to COVID-19. I can tell you it's been very challenging for the people, families, and communities we serve. People who work in the hospitality, food, construction, and other industries have lost jobs. They've been laid off. People who face diabetes, hypertension, and other illness are very concerned for themselves and for their loved ones. This is the question, what can I do during this crisis? The best I can do is to offer my best I uh, use all the resources that we have in Multnomah County. And my concern is, is the well-being of staff, uh, how to take care of themselves. They need sometimes to hit the brakes and take some time off. Thank you everybody for everything that you're doing. Yes, it, it really matters. It means a lot to the community, as you know. And we're all very grateful. We're a better place for you all. I truly believe that. Thank you. To me, it's something new, having to work from home. I mean, to tell the work from home is uh, something new. It's not easy for me because uh, I'd like to work with a person in a, in a situation where I can see the person. This time I have to just imagine how they feel, how the people are feeling, or what, how, what, how, how the people are doing. So it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's difficult. One of the biggest challenges that I have seen during this COVID-19 pandemic has been an increase in isolation among the clients that I work with. It's difficult or harder to connect with clients because um, we're limited to just working over the phone, uh, whether that's phone calls, texting, emails, um, a couple FaceTimes. This whole pandemic has allowed the opportunity to be creative and think outside the box by using Google Hangouts, Google Meets, among other platforms to continue serving the people. It's, it's just not the same, you know, not seeing them in person. That's the part I miss. Um, so I can't wait for this pandemic to be over. It has been really, uh, from my personal um, experience, has been so overwhelming. But the good thing is, at the end of the day, you, it brings you that great level of satisfaction. And after resting, eating, and having a good night's sleep, in the morning you're fresh and ready to help the community again. So, that goes a long way.
taking care of yourselves. Soch, we'll start with you, Soch. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, same, pretty much. Just uh, been going for runs and bike rides with my dog. Awesome. <laughs> a dog? We gotta see a picture of the dog. How are you taking care of yourself? Okay. Awesome. Um, Antonio. Yeah. How are you doing? doing? Good. Family's doing good. You look great. You look great. <laughs> I like the things because it keeps me busy. All those clients that I need to call, but uh, I prefer pretty much prefer weekdays instead of weekends. Great. How is your buddy, best friend, Choo Choo, -choo the dog? Choo Choo. Yeah, doing exercises on my bike, and I really enjoy lunch today. Awesome. Yeah, I'm doing well. Nothing really bad, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. That's my daughter's dog. My coworker Loki sleeping on the job. I'm very grateful to have such a supportive team that I truly feel that we are uh, a familia. As BNSF staff, we want the community to know we stand with you and we will get through this together.